is not bread, and it's absolutely horrible for you. See, to get the fluffy, sweet, delicious bread millions of Americans love to eat, you need a few very special ingredients, like potassium bromate, an additive that makes bread rise, or azodicarbonamide, a chemical to bleach and strengthen the dough. Do you know where else you can find these chemicals? In yoga mats, pesticides, and even explosives. And all these chemicals have one thing in common. They can cause all sorts of cancer. That's why the European Union, the UK, and even China have banned them from food production. But not in America. To this day, the FDA says these additives are generally recognized as safe to eat. Ah, uh, yes. Shalom, this is your brother Yuanathan. First and foremost, want to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak, Wadash, want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This is Ezekiel 4 and 13. It says, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. All right. And the primary place where the bulk of Israel is, is the Americas. Okay. Uh, the North Country. And here, all the food is defiled. Now, if I was to look up, and I'm, I'm going to do this for you guys. I mean, if you look up where cancer is the most prominent in the earth, I guarantee that it's in the Americas. America is number four. Now, why would the supposed greatest country on earth be fourth or this high on the list? Okay, this is an article from uh, medicalnewstoday.com. It says, what to know about cancer survival incidents and death rates? Uh, let's see. Right here, it'll tell you. In the United States, the National Cancer Institute estimates that doctors will have diagnosed 1.8 million new cancer cases in 2020. And that there will be 606 and 520,000 cancer deaths. Many different types of cancers can occur anywhere in the body. Common forms, all right, of this disease include lung, breast, and prostate cancer. Expert link certain factors to developing cancers such as genetics or exposure to certain substances like cigarette smoke, alcohol, or chemicals. And a lot of the chemicals right, that cause cancer, like you've seen in the clip in the beginning of the video, come from our food. Okay. So this place, you know, a lot of the food that you can eat here in America, you'll never get in other countries. Even when I went to Japan, um, a lot of American products, you'll notice they drastically taste different because a lot of the chemicals are not approved over there. You know, so it's just like, man, no matter what you do, you're subject to these curses, you're subject to the evils that this devil forces on us, all right? And that's pursuant to the curses in uh, Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter, where it states that, uh, let me go get it really quick. All right, it's Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. So we will have to go to them for what? And in want and need of of all things and in want of all things and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee all right so you know uh two-thirds of our people they weren't able to come up out of that sleep because the lord ordained for them not to come out of it but you know that remnant we've woken up to the to these things now is this something that we could do on our own strength to turn it around no but we're in the spirit of sighing and crying for the abominations being done in the midst thereof. We rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our abilities. And that's going to give us the ticket to enter on, you know, to the, to the chariots of salvation. Come time for destruction of this place. So the latest in this dystopian outrage that is now all of China apparently is I once again cannot buy food 
A couple days ago, my uncle and my cousin helped me get a cell phone that is linked to a Chinese bank card so that I could buy anything. But now, apparently, it has been flagged for some reason, and I have to pass facial recognition identity verification, which is insane, because all I want to do is just spend my gift card balance on this debit card. I can't believe I'm doing this. I have to open my mouth. Oh my god. Terrifying. <sighs> and of course, because it was my cousin who set this up for me, I did not pass verification. I guess it's a good thing that the Chinese app is not racist. But now, I once again can't buy anything. All right, so we always talk about gradualism. All right, I'm gonna read the definition here in the Edom Online. This is having steps or ridges. All right, from the medieval gradualis. Step, a step climbed, a step towards something. Now, all over the world, as World War III is brewing, as the collapse of the dollar is, is coming to fruition and countries are scrambling to you know, establish their own uh, currency, um, you see this, these steps towards a digital currency and towards people, you know, having to uh, merge with the machine. That's what you see with Neuralink. Uh, that's what you see with the, the facial recognition. That's what you see with, you know, uh, the, the, the social credit score. They, they, they want you to be in a database. Okay. And it's ultimately going to boil down to receiving the karagma that mark in Revelation 13, 16. And that's that to take that mark is giving dominion of your soul over to this man and not the most high. So, you know, there's gradual steps being taken all over the world to that point. All right. All right. So now we're here in Revelation 13. I'll start at verse 15. It says, and he had the power to give life unto the image of the beast. Now, amongst Israel, it's a, it's a great confusion. A lot of things that other people say it is, oh, it's, it's the philosophy, it's sin, da, 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 you know. They're going into the image of the beast, which is devil. You know, he pushes uh, democracy. He pushes th this way of life, homosexuality. He pushes it on all the nations of the earth. That is the image of the beast. Okay. Should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Now, if you're not partaking in this devil's philosophy and his way, at some point, you're going to be deemed the enemy of the state. You're going to be deemed... Um, you know, somebody who needs who's in the way for the world to have peace and safety because he's going to he's going to get people to uh, subscribe to his way under the guise of safety because there's going to be a lot of chaos and destruction and death and danger going on. He's going to act like he has a solution to it all. And those who don't want to go with his plan are going to be deemed enemies. Now, in verse 16, it talks about the actual mark. OK, it says and he causes all both small and great rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, or 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save that he had the mark. So you won't be able to buy or sell. So the physical mark is something that you're going to need to function within society, to buy goods, to go to work, to, you know, get currency so that you can go from day to day. And the currency is going to be digital. Now, we know it's a physical mark. When you go to the look up the word here in the Greek, the mark, word for mark and revelation which is different from the word mark in ezekiel 9 and 4 all right the word here is karagma strong's g 5480 karagma karagma all right this is a stamp an imprint mark and this definition is spot on here it says of the mark stamped on the forehead or in the right hand is a badge of the followers of the antichrist i mean there's many antichrists but the chief nation Who's in that spirit is the nation of Edom, the so-called white man. Now, forehead or in the hand or anywhere in the body. But you see with Neuralink, they, they have the, the brain chip there. They, they push uh, and they have the, 
the mark in the hand. The country of Sweden, you know, they took the many people in that country have RFID chip already, which that was one of the countries during the pandemic that didn't shut down. Right. Because they, they, they're already forward with the uh, agenda here. OK, now let's go look up buy and sell here. In verse 17, let's see, what's, let's see what's going on with that. All right, that no man might buy the word. Strong's G59, Agarazzo, Agarazzo. Now it says to be in the marketplace to attend, to do business there, buy or sell. Now you can't buy or sell with sin. You understand? You can't buy or sell with the image of Cesare Borgia, who the word we call Jesus, that white boy, stringy hair white boy they got up. You can't do that. So this, this, it isn't sin or an embargo or anything like that. This is the mark here in Revelation thirteen sixteen is a physical mark, which is the RFID chip. All right. And within the RFID chip, you have what? You have the barcode that they'll be able to be scanned. And within every barcode, as you see here on the image I have on the screen, there is a six, six, and a six. So when you go to Revelation thirteen and eighteen. Here's where the number comes in. You know, this is this is a, a plain way to break it down. All right. So, uh, yeah, we, we know what the mark is. The prophets are going to be warning about the mark. And um, it's here. It's on the horizon. And that's going to be a primary topic that the men of the Lord talk about. So, yeah, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises once more to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rakak, Kodash, when I get double honest to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. And I want to say shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. All right, may the blessing of election be upon your house. Shalom.